What's up guys, welcome to vSexualization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to create new tables with Summarize and DAX. So, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have three different points. The first one here is about the summarize function. Second point, we're gonna learn about the rollup function within summarize. And finally, guys, as always, I have here a really nice case. So now let's move on to the next point. Summarize. So this function creates a summary of the input table group by specific columns. As you guys can see here, this function has four different parts. One of them is optional and you will see it here. The table, it can be a table in your model or any DAX expression that returns a table of data. The second point here, the group by column name, this is optional and you can read this in more detail. The name part here, this is the name given to a total or summarized column enclosed in double quotes because this is text. And finally guys, the expression, it can be any DAX expression that returns a single scalar value where the expression is to be evaluated multiple times. Just to give you an idea here for expression, it's usually an aggregation function. So now let's move on to the next slide. Roll up within summarize. Summarize produces subtotals using the roll up function to group columns. You can also see here the syntax. It has just one part here, which is the group by column name. This is the qualified name of an existing column or rollup group function to be used to create summary groups based on the values found in it. So please keep this information in mind. And now let's go to the next point. Okay, it's two questions here. The first question is to create a summarized table that includes year, month, country, and two aggregated columns, total profits and total discounts. Also, the new table should only include non and low for discount band. Really interesting question, okay? Second question here, create a summarized table that includes year, month, country, and total profits. Also, the new table should only include Mexico and Germany for countries. And finally, for the same question, we need to add subtotals to this table. Really, really interesting questions. And now, guys, as always, let's go to Power BI Desktop. So here we are in Power BI Desktop and before we start solving these questions, let's take a quick look at these tables. So we already have the dates table here and this is basically the calendar table. It has three columns, the date column, year and also year month. We also have here the financials table. This is the table, this is a sample table that it's within Power BI Desktop. So this is information provided by Microsoft, okay? And of course, if we go to model here, there is already a relationship here between dates and financials based on date. Okay, now let's go back to report here and let's start solving the first question. So what we wanna do next is the following. Let's click on modeling here and now let's hit new table. So we're gonna create a new table here. So the name is gonna be Profit discounts. Let's do that. So here we're gonna use the calculate table function and you will see why we're using this function, okay? So calculate table. If you're not familiar with this table, it's highly recommended to stop the video and check the calculate table function. I have a video here as well. I'm gonna share with you guys the link so you can take a quick look at this, okay? So now, we need to use here for the expression, for the table, because the summarize function gives you a table, we're gonna use here the summarize function. It's right here, there you go. So the next thing that we wanna do here is reference the table, right? So we wanna reference the financials table. It's right there, it's already in the model. And for the group by column names, we need to reference here two columns. So the first column is gonna be the year, month column. And this is coming from the 
calendar table. Remember, we need to have a relationship between the calendar table and the financial table. If we don't have a relationship, we're going to be in trouble. This wouldn't work, okay? So now let's reference the year month from the calendar table, comma. The next thing that we want to reference here is country from the financial table. Let's do that real quick. It's right there, comma. And now we need to use for names, we need to use the aggregation functions here, okay? The first name here is going to be total profits, okay? Let's do this real quick. Total profits, this is text quotation marks here, comma. And we need to use sum here because we are aggregating financials and this should be profit, okay? There you go, close parenthesis, comma here. So now the other name here is total discounts, close quotation mark there, sum here. And this should be discounts, right? Perfect. So now shift enter, close parenthesis, and we are done with the summarize function. Remember, this is this part right here, the summarize, this is just the table, the expression, the table that belongs to the calculate table function. So comma here. If you guys remember for the discount band, we have a couple of things that we need to be very aware of, okay? It's right there. This should be none. And also, this should only be low. And then let's close this. Close parenthesis. And we are done with the calculate table function. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Perfect. It seems like it's working, guys. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. We can see columns there. And now let's go to data here. And let's select this new table. There you go. There you have year, month, country, total profits, total discounts. Perfect. And then you can also customize this if you want, because these are numeric values. You can add a comma here as a thousands separator. Perfect. So let's create a couple of visuals here real quick. So how about if we create right here a table and let's drag here country. So we already have country here. How about year month? Let's do that. This is coming from the new table, total profits and total discounts. How about that? Aha, uh -huh. it seems like it's working guys. Let's see. Uh, let's drag this total discounts here. It didn't work the first time. Perfect. There you go. So what do you think? You like it? You can customize this a little bit better if you want. Let's do that real quick. There you go, guys. We have just created a new table, right? So let's see if this is working properly. Let's duplicate this table. Control C, Control V. We want to make sure that we are doing the right thing, right? So let's remove every single field from this new table. And let's replicate this by using the information, the columns from the original table, which is the financial table, right? So let's drag here country. What else? Year, month. And we're going to use this from the calendar table because there is a relationship between these two tables, uh, total profits. And let's drag here total profits. By default, this is sum. Check this out. It's right there. So this should be working fine. And then for discounts, we can do the same thing. So let's do that. Let's drag discounts into this table. Boom. So you may say, hey, this is not working properly. On the left, we have for total profit 7.9 million. And then on the right, we have 16.9 million. Something is wrong. And let me tell you that we are not wrong. Check this out. We need to add a filter here real quick. 
And here, let's add this command. Boom. Remember that this field is coming from the financial stable. Okay. Check this out. Remember that this table on the left, the table on the left has a filter, right? Remember, we only care about norm and low. So let's add a filter here. And this filter is going to affect the second table only. Check this out. Now we see the same results. See it right there? So this means that we are doing the right thing. Okay, so that's how it works, my friends. Now let's go to the next question. So now let's solve the second question here. If you guys remember, for the second question, we need to use the rollup function. So let's create a new table here. So now let's create a new table here as well, modeling. You remember this. So let's call this new table profits with subtotals. How about that? And we're going to use the calculate table as well. There you go. So we're going to use here the summarize function. This is going to give us a new table, something similar to the first question here, guys. We're going to reference the financial table. And now here we're going to use the rollup function because this is going to give us subtotals. OK. All right. So the two columns are going to be referencing here are year and country. So let's do that. There you go. Perfect. Now we need to use the aggregation function here. Let's do that. Let's call this total profits. All right, this is text quotation marks here. And we're going to use here the sum function. We need to add profits here. OK. There you go. Close parenthesis. Shift enter here close parenthesis and we are done with the summarize function comma here and now we need to work on the filters for the calculate table function very similar to what we just did right country here and we only care about Germany here if you remember this Germany and also Mexico Let's close this right here. Shift enter and close parenthesis. And we are done with the calculate table function. So let's see if this is working properly, my friends. What we need to do next is hit enter. Boom, my friends, there it is. If you can see here, this is a new table. So let's expand this real quick. Three different columns here. Let's go to data here real quick. And let's select this new table. There you go. Perfect. It's working perfectly, my friends. And then we can do something similar here. Comma as a thousand separator. There you go. Let's go back to report and let's create here a table real quick, my friends. And let's copy one table from here. This is just to grab the format. Okay. Control C and then Control V. So we are doing this just to copy the format so we don't have to do this twice. Okay. Okay. So let's drag here, here, boom, country, boom. And now total profits from the new table. There you go. And then we can rearrange this a little bit better if we want. Here you go, my friends, you need to keep playing with this information to rearrange this better. But basically, here we have the subtotals, right? For 2013, for example, if we add 1.1 million plus 592,000, it's going to give us 1.7 million here. And then the same thing for 2014, we have 2.3 million here plus 2.5 million, it's going to give us 
4.9 million here and finally this right here is the total for those two years which is 4.8 or 4.9 plus 1.7 it's going to give us 6.6 .6 million as a result but that's the idea right so with the roll up function we can have subtotals so what do you think so now guys let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there that was it guys thank you very much for your time if you found the content helpful as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial